Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video, I will show you uh, this relay board. This is KC868. It has 8 channel relay output and 8 channel relay input. And work with this ESP32 module. Uh, this video, I will show you how to extend the GPIO port for ESP32. The ESP32 is more popular in market uh, used by many DIY. But it have a little GPIO part so that we have 8 channel output and 8 channel input there are not enough GPIO to use so we need, need to extend this video I will show you how to extend and how to use Arduino IDE to drive this output uh, for the on and off uh, this have two chip this is PCF8574 the IIC chip uh, this this one chip is eight channel for this input, and this cha this chip is for this eight channel output. Uh, this is all use IIC chip. Uh, you can see uh, this is for extend. If you have many IIC device, uh, you can extend by this uh, C SCL and SDA, and this is VCC and ground, and this SCL is clock. And this SDA is date, so the I, the IIC chip uh, have this uh, two signal and the clock and the power and the ground. So you can extend for many chips. If not enough for eight channel for your use, and you can extend for many uh, different IIC chip. Just connect SCL and SDA together. Also, you can extend for LCD display or LED display. Just use the IIC chip, IIC bus. So now we can use this board. Take example for tell you to how to drive uh, this relay output. Uh, you can see this is our A8 board. This A8 board have this pin defined and in this diagram. And also we have uh, the pin defined in this uh, form. Uh, you can click and see the details of every pin, uh, which is IIC, uh, SDA, and SCL de defined, and the relay output, and the input, and the temperature sensor, and the digital input, and the wireless receiver, and the Ethernet part. So this have all have rest of the I.O. pin. But also you can, in this uh, our website document, and find out the A8 diagram details. You can see this. I just click, and you will see the photo. And I will define, and you can find in this diagram. And now we began to tell you how to use this relay output on and off. And also, we can use this Arduino IDE. This Arduino ID will have uh, write this demo code, and this code I will upload to our form. You can download and use it directly. And before to use, uh, you can see this relay is not used the GPIO directly. So we have used this PCF chip to extend uh, the GPIO. We can just see this diagram, and uh, you can see this is PCF. 8574, uh, uh, this is for input, this is in, it means input channel. And uh, this is output channel. And this is for output. And you can see the output is connected. This is a relay driver. And uh, this is 8 channel relay output. So we can see the command uh, is connected uh, with this chip with the ESP32. And you can see the SDA and SCL have connected with this uh, two line. And this also have the SDA and S SCL. So if you have many chip, uh, because the A1, A0, A2, we have three line uh, work as the dress. So we have many devices we can connect together. Uh, this is for output. Uh, this have the SDA and SCL. Uh, this A0, A1, A2. You can see this fault. 
uh, this is for output. So they have connected with the thing SD and SCL. But uh, for this chip, you can see this A0 is 0. A1 is 0, and A2 is 1. So you can see uh, this, A, this is 0, 0, 1. So this is 24. Uh, this address is 24. So we can see our Arduino code. Uh, you can see this is defines the output. And we can see uh, this is 24. Uh, this is 24. And the input, if next video I will tell you how to use the input part. The input is this one and 0, 1, 0. So that's 0, 1, 0. So this is for input. Uh, just a 22 address is for input. So now we have see this output. So we can see this Arduino code. Uh, you can include uh, this Arduino.h and this PCF 8574.h. Uh, this you need to install the library. We can see the online library management. And we just import uh, this PCF PCF 8574 and I can choose I have installed you can see this library you need to install I have installed you just install online just click this button and we'll complete the install and I choose the close and after you install we can go on and uh, this is defined the address uh, this is 24 I have tell you why is 24 and this is began with the server part and you can define this pin mode I uh, just uh, set the p0 uh, until p7 that is relay 1 relay 2 relay 3 relay 4 until relay 8 uh, that is defined for output because we want to turn on and turn off the relay and this is uh, display print the information if initials the IIC is OK just print OK if it's false just print a KO KO is not OK so uh, this began to loop loop we just uh, uh, set the default uh, is low uh, every channel each channel is low so we can uh, at first day to turn off our relay and delay about uh, three seconds and we began to turn on every relay uh, this is relay high means on so this relay one is on relay two is on and relay three is on and after every 300 milliseconds will be relay on and until relay 8 is on we just uh, turn off every relay uh, from relay 8 uh, to relay 1 just off 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 also, every delay time is 300 million seconds. And this code is very easy. Just uh, not use this GPIO directly. We have used this PCF to extend the GPIO. So we just, uh, before the GPIO words, we just uh, use this PCF 8574.digital uh, write. And also, it, dot uh, pin mode to set the output or input now we can download it we can see the result we just uh, upload uh, before it's complete i will tell you because uh, when you use iic chip you need to define i have used node mcu uh, 32s because i have used this 32s so you need to find out this pin Arduino.h uh, this, at this path uh, very long. You just, just can according to my path. And you will find this file. And, uh, and open this file. And then you need to define this SDA and SCL. Uh, this date and clock, uh, this is very important. Don't remember to uh, change this pin uh, you need to change this pin because uh, we can see uh, this is IIC SDA and SCL 
is as thin as uh, this 4 and 5. OK. Now let's power on. I will power on. And the USB is detect. I can click upload again. Now it began download. Okay, you can see the relay all is on and now began to turn on after every 300 milliseconds. And also it turn off at, at every 300 milliseconds. So this is the relay output and this is LD indicate uh, for 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now you can see the code is running and turn on and turn off the relay output. Okay, this is how to use the Arduino ID to control the GPL extend by the ISA chip. Thanks for watching.